Hello to all and welcome to another video, uh, Ships on the Great Lakes. My name is Nigel, also known as Lake Erie Vlogger, and you're looking at Singer Castle uh, on Singer Island. Spoiler alert though, it's not actually a castle. Anyway, I was on this uh, spot of land to have a quick tour around the castle, but while there, I got caught out because the tour was taking a bit too long, and this started sailing past. Paul Steam Dabby. I had seen this in Port Coburn just a few uh, months ago on its maiden voyage through the uh, Welling Canal, but I didn't get to film it because she was tied up at the wharf uh, just inside the area I couldn't get to, and it was too windy to get a drone up to go and get it. So I was like freaking out that this ship is now sailing past me in the middle of the St. Lawrence, so I only had one thing I could do right here, and that was, as soon as the tour finished, was run down, jump on the sea dew, and chase it down. And that's exactly what I did. So now the race is on for me to try and catch up with the pole steam as she makes her way down the St. Lawrence River. We managed to catch up with her, but it took us uh, quite the distance. It was like 22 kilometers, which is 13 and a half miles of traveling to get to. As you can see on the map I got there, Singer Island all the way down to the Thousand Islands Bridge. And that's where I actually caught up with her and I managed to get some great footage for you. So enjoy. caught up with Holstein Dabby a brand new ship for 2024 I think this is her second voyage down the St. Lawrence and she's heading towards the Welland Canal uh, so it's nice to catch up with it finally Look at the bulbous bow just pushing that water. So what we'll do, we'll get ahead of her and get the drone up as quick as I can. This is Polsteam Dabby, and she's one of the latest additions to the Polsteam fleet. Seen here coming through the Thousand Islands, making her way upstream to St. Lawrence and into Lake Ontario, where she'll be heading down to Toledo, Ohio in the United States. Ship was built in China and she measures in at 200 meters with a beam of 24 meters.
and there you have it Paul Steen Dabby I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please show you like and subscribe to the channel would be most appreciated I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers uh, before the end of this year which would be fantastic until next time stay safe and see you all very very soon